So in this new series of VLSI expert talk, I would invite many of industry expert to my channel who will open their heart in and around the VLSI industry. So in this first episode, we have with us Krithika Rampal. She is a senior associate design engineer at Intel and now presently she has 7 plus year of experience at VLSI industry. And she is a very multidimensional personality. She executes not only her tech field which is SOC but she is also a content creator at LinkedIn and she is in top 200 in India to be selected at LinkedIn Creator Accelerator Program 2022. She also mentors freshers and a true pioneer of women at technology. We discuss all about those topics with respect to freshers like what to do, what to not do, difference between back-end and front-end, their opportunity, their salary expectation at India, what's the profile mean as a design engineer, what you need to do to be in that profile, how it feels like a woman in technology or any woman why should they pursue the technology field and many things. So before I start, please like this video and hold your breath and let's start the show. So hi Kritika. Hey, first hi of all, Rajni. thanks a lot and first of all, thanks a lot for spending your weekend, like giving up this time. How are you feeling right now? Oh Rajneet, it's such a pleasure to talk to you. Um, I would tell that uh, before we connected, I, I actually am a subscriber to your channel. I love the content you put out and a few of the videos that you put out were so honest. Uh, I think that is something I really appreciate you, uh, about you. There is like whatever is there actual me industry me is out there in your channel. Matab, no over processing, no sugar coatings, jo hai, wo hai. And I think a young professionals ke liye a platform hai to learn more about semiconductor in the industry which is like coming from you. I know you have a positive space, a coffee fun space hai. and on top of that, Everything is out there. I was looking forward to having this conversation with you and uh, I'm very happy to, to talk to you. You know, you are a wonderful person to <laughs> talk to. <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot for this. Yeah. So straight away, we'll go to the question and one of the main questions for which my audience are looking for and that is, we know that yeah, VLSI jobs are very interesting if you are a, you have interest for electronics. But again, when in, I am into my job, I found out there are a few monotonous day when I don't like those days, those work. And uh, I'm fortunate because before joining VLSI, I, I was in some other uh, corporate job, IT sector. And I was sure that, yeah, my every day won't be a goody goody. There should be some uh, bad day also, boring day also. And I think those who, my audience who are going to join industry, they should also know those things. Like what are the things which will probably disapp disappoint them if they join VLSI industry without knowing those things. So can you point out something which they should know so that they don't feel disappointed when they join this industry? Oh, okay, let me start with something good and then move on to the perversion part. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. as we know that semiconductors is the brain of modern electronics. So we are in enabling technologies for critical economic growth, national security and global competitiveness, right? Uh, semiconductors have driven advances in communication, computing, healthcare, military systems, transportation, clean energy, and countless other applications, right? And they are giving rise yeah. to new technologies that hold the pro that, that hold the problem to transform so society for the better, like advanced computing, VR, IoT, uh, automated devices, robotics, artificial intelligence. I can't even stop. <laughs> Kitna kuch ho hai, yeah. right? So, isme semiconductors have great potential. Uh, ahead and also uh, as per uh, New York Times there, there is going to be a lot of employment opportunities in semiconductors in in coming times so it's a good place to be at semiconductors to make your career the only requirement to be here is that it's a very specialized field right you mm -hmm. have to be very strong at least with your basics to start your work obviously you will learn a lot of things on the job but treat it as a super specialized field and with that now let's come to the problem of working in any kind of corporate set, setup. So one thing that helps me is uh, Charlie Munger's quote that assume life will be tough and then ask mm -hmm. if you, you can handle it. If the answer is yes, you can go. So basically like coin has two sides, right? Where say like every other profession, semiconductors also has two sides. There will be few days where you will feel so excited. Oh, I've solved this problem. Maza gaya. I've made such an impact. And there will be days where you won't be able to figure out what you have done. And so you feel like a boring day. It was so much fun. 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 Maybe bold room will get, especially if you are a professional, then definitely will get. So try to reach out to who you get, and complete it. Whatever you get, whatever you get, whatever you get, whatever you get, meet your deadlines. 
राइट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट मोर वर्क मोर इंटरेस्टिंग वर्क वो कम्प्लीट करके सबमिट कर दो और आफ्टर टॉकिंग टू टू योर टीम ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कि कौन सा काम आपको एक्साइट कर कर सकते हैं एंड देन टॉक टू योर मैनेजर और योर सीनियर्स टू इन्वॉल्व यू इन दैट वर्क अभी क्या बिकॉज यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड द वर्क जो आपको मिला है आपकी क्रेडिबिलिटी बन गई है दैट दिस पर्सन इज एबल टू मीट वर्क है ना वो काम कर देगा धीरे धीरे यू विल ग्रो इन योर टीम एंड गेट द काइंड ऑफ वर्क जो आपको एक्साइटिंग लग सकता है मे बी काम करके वो वो भी ना मजा आए वो अलग स्टोरी है बट एटलीस्ट यू विल बी एबल टू ट्राई तो कीप ऑन लर्निंग कीप ऑन एक्सप्लोरिंग बी हंग्री ट्राई डिफरेंट थिंग्स मिस्टेक्स हो सकती है हो विच इज प्रिटी नॉर्मल मतलब वी आर ह्यूमन जैसे गलती होगी बट अपनी गलती एक्सेप्ट करो एंड जितनी जल्दी बता दोगे कि यार ये गलती हो गई है उतना बेटर हो जाएगा आपके लिए बिकॉज उसका सोल्यूशन फास्ट हो जाएगा तो उसका इम्पैक्ट कम होगा तो एंड एंड जस्ट हैव फन या मेरा स्टार्टिंग केस में भी हुआ था जैसे आई वाज गॉट वन टास्क टू फाइंड आउट द प्लेस एलवीएस लाइक सॉल्व द प्लेस एलवीएस इशू एंड आई वाज स्टक फॉर 3 टू 4 टू फाइंड लाइक टू सॉल्व वन एरर दैट हैपेंड या एंड आई वाज या एंड आई वाज नॉट आस्किंग और टेकिंग हेल्प फ्रॉम एनीबॉडी एंड देन माय मैनेजर टोल्ड मी यू शुड हैव आस्क ऑन डे 1 ओनली सो यू शुड हैव गॉट सम आंसर सो आई थिंक या वी शुड कीप ऑन आस्किंग टू आवर टीममेट्स एंड प्रोबेबली दिस इज अ ग्रेट थिंग इन इंडस्ट्री कंपेयर्ड टू योर कॉलेज इन in college what happen if we get some some issue then there are not many expert because only we have professor they are not accessible every time but in industry we have all the like experienced people like you so probably if i get any issue i can ask you so yeah that's a great thing about industry you are a sse design engineer at intel and probably design profile is the most lucrative job profile in any industry be it in software or be it in the other side so can you please explain roughly like what your profile look like as sse design engineer a uh, sure a uh, great question rashid so sec is basically system on chips and uh, currently in vlsi world especially in india most of the work is oriented around creating an soc so the work on soc is can be distributed into two sides either it can be a logic design or it can be in physical or structural design my work is primarily at soc de- 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 uh, design engineer side this is a huge mm-hmm. umbrella by the way uh you can be working on digital logic design that can mean either on fpga sa or rtl you can also be working on analog or mixed signal circuit designs uh along with that you can also be hands on on computer architecture design or or performance especially in uh, companies like uh, companies that are known to create G- gpus cpus and all these right so it's a huge umbrella so from the skill set point of view for my role uh, there might be a requirement of hdl programming that would be system very log very log or be or phdl or per, mm-hmm. or performance modeling simulations analysis for platform components like bios and os uh, and along with that it's a generally good idea to have hands on experience with c c++ scripting languages like tikal perl and all so mm-hmm. at soc level your primary task is to improve a uh, chip functionality at pre silicon stage it seems like uh, too tough to be a soc design engineer because there are many requirements right so as per you like for example coding part and we all know coding part is a huge like it's a like we can't separate electronics and coding so as a as a those who are doing their mtech first year or they are in btech should they start with every languages like you have mentioned many things like c c++ then python and also we have very log or system very log so how does you start for learning coding if you are excited about building a career in the design it's it's a good idea to to know either vhdl or very log so have a couple of projects also like i remember when i was back in bits uh, we created a mm-hmm. microprocessor i think which is very generic now i think most most of mtech uh, curriculum will have uh, Uh, a project for microprocessor that you have to code in either Verilog or VHDL and take it down to synthesis, right? Uh, mm-hmm. So, so, so I think you you need to focus on that. And on top of that, if if you have a good idea of C or C plus plus, or you can spend some time in learning about either Tikal or Perl, that is a good additional skill to uh, leverage on. And I used to get this question many time, many time, and that is, as a student, how we should choose a front end job and a back end job. what should be our uh, preference for that okay that's a that's a very tricky question to answer but let me try my hands on it so when we say front end so front end uh, mein kafi cheeze aate like it will be design verification and everything right back end will be more mm-hmm. about synthesis uh, power grid design layouts uh, clock tree uh, cds uh, meeting timing and all right 
so uh, both of these domains are very complex and they and they present their own level of challenges and scope of in, scope of innovation so mm-hmm. basically in simple words there is no fixed answer to this question it's a matter of choice so choose physical design if you love current voltages resistance capacitance you are you are excited mm-hmm. to do static timing analysis you are basically a cmod nerd and you want to play out <laughs> with layout and you you want to build nand gates nor gates and implement it in various layouts or if you mm-hmm. are excited to do spice simulation choose design or verification if you love to do logic de- and design you like coding in vhdl very log or system very log uh, you like programming but i'm not talking about software development here uh, you mm-hmm. you can also like to create test benches to uh, test your logic or you want to basically understand how a particular flow or data flow is there at soc or in general you you get excited about learning various protocols because de- uh, design revolves a lot of a lot on protocols so uh, that is the general idea but to mm-hmm. but because you are uh, in in your channel everything should be out there so uh, if, yeah. if if you are asking this question based on career opportunities going forward then probably both of them have the same scope if you're asking this mm-hmm. question based uh, on pay potential wise then i feel that as you mature in your career physical design has a very slight edge over front end and that is predominantly that mm-hmm. in india i feel what i have seen is physical design opportunities are more than design uh, that may change mm-hmm. in coming years due to startups and all and if you're asking this question based on workload wise then i feel front end promises to give you a better work life balance than physical design Uh, mm-hmm. this is my observation <laughs> this is what i have seen uh, <laughs> happening in various companies in in my peer group and uh, so based on that uh, you know always choose your career based on your passion so money will come okay work life balance <laughs> will come if, if eventually but follow your heart yeah that that's real really really one of the like best suggestion follow your heart and another like for example like i might be wrong but i found find out that when i'm working on layout side then i don't have too much connection with the logic thing like if we have a end gate or we have a add on then in the front end we get to know like yeah we are writing this code it will do a addition but in the back end i am only having some polygons and i am like uh, what called i am like yeah, as you said if you are love with capacitors resistance i mean like this so i am doing those things hmm. yeah and also in back end like I don't know about front end because I don't have any experience but in back end sincerity is like too much if you like move your polygon by fraction of nanometer then your design will crash <laughs> if yeah. you drop a via here and there your design will crash so yeah in back end if you are too sincere then hopefully back end would be a great place for you forwarding with this question only like I am a CAD engineer and probably if somebody say what's the role of a CAD engineer then they will say yeah you you like you manage some flow you develop some flow to automate your layout design okay but in current team i am i'm finding out that no my role is not fixed i used to like do some other work also like designing the crew layout critica how you find out like is the vfi profile are fixed like you are a soc design engineer so you will do the thing only which are assigned to soc design engineer or it is not so fixed in the vfi industry let me share what what my journey has been so as you mm-hmm. in the starting of the video said that i have worked for 7 and a half years now uh, in the front end mm-hmm. world and i have experience of working in top mncs in india and i have worked with stakeholders from india from us from japan from ireland from china right so basically a lot of geopolitical uh, world and because i have been working on uh, low power i also get to uh, you know I- interact with basically every other team that works in pre silicon mm-hmm. world so that would be cad your team that would be backend that mm-hmm. would be fpj team right so basically everything uh, you get to talk to them hands on so what i feel is that uh, for me in the beginning of the career because i did not choose one thing that uh, even now i would say that i i though now i started saying ki low power i work in low power but even now i don't believe it i say that i'm i'm adding value to whatever i do so i think that has been very helpful to me so uh, mm-hmm. in the starting first uh, in the starting 2 3 years of my career i tried my hands at everything whatever front end mm-hmm. has to offer uh, what i could get my hands on as fresher because as you rightly said starting may you get to work on automation or methodology this is true for most of the new people who join when you are in that position it is very easy for you to prove your value and try your hands at a lot of things so uh, 
I I tried my hands on SOC de- design, blending, CDC. So 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 these are the various it's. aspects that you can get to work in the design world and after spending two or three good years on that i i understood that you know power excites me power is a vertical that i can add a lot more value to and it will give me an opportunity mm-hmm. to work with a lot of teams so basically when i was trying and experimenting and i was intentionally doing it by the way my manager was not telling me to do it i was asking for mm-hmm. it i got bored with it i think there is nothing for me to learn they give me something new because semiconductor world has so much opportunity this this like a uh, it's like a mountain like it, even when i talk to folks who have who are like chief fellow officers like they have nothing to prove like they are champions they tell me there is so much mm-hmm. more to learn like just j- j- just imagine somebody who is like a, a senior principal folk telling you that i feel there is so much to do i still don't understand that particular aspect of the design i'm like how is it possible right so so that's the beauty <laughs> of it don't don't stick to one thing in the starting of your career mm-hmm. uh, i feel that try different things Uh, don't be sticky about it because uh, you will get an opportunity to to be sticky about stuff in future and you and mm-hmm. you should use that too because tab tak it aapke mind mein clear ho jayega aapko kahan pe career banana hai kahan pe aapko maza aata karte mein because semiconductor is like a marathon it's not a sprint you have to be in it for mm-hmm. a long haul so try mm-hmm. beginning of career mein aap alag alag cheeze try karo maza aayega maza nahi aayega बट एक चीज को माइंड में डाल के रखो कि आई हैव टू ऐड वैल्यू चाहे वो एक स्क्रिप्ट हो जो आप बना रहे हो एक एक्सेलेस बेस्ड एक सॉफ्टवेयर रन करके कुछ आउटपुट क्रिएट कर रहे हो बट जो भी हो ऐड वैल्यू एंड उस पे प्राउड फील करो दैट मैंने प्रोडक्टिविटी इतना परसेंट इंप्रूव कर दिया मेरे काम का इंपैक्ट है बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट एंड कीप ऑन लर्निंग कीप ऑन ग्रोइंग एंड ये मेरा सजेशन है दिस हैज हेल्प मी Yeah, surely, surely. And many actors notice kya hai. Just like for me also, when I was not into industry, uh, I was too choosy about the thing. Like I thought, okay, if I go to backend, then I would be doing only backend for my entire life, mm-hmm. or in some uh, specific role for verification. So I would be doing verification for the whole of long uh, life. So I thought, okay, let's choose the best one. But I guess this is not the correct uh, try, right? We should like we should go for any role we get. and then we should uh, explore on to it that what we like exactly yeah absolutely so kritika has mentored many freshers and obviously she also wants a fresher and now gonna lead her team and there are many silly mistakes which she done and there might be many interesting story around her career and we want to know all of those things because they will motivate us to do the mistake and to learn from those mistake and to avoid those silly mistakes a part two of this video the mistakes a fresher do would be releasing in next 48 hour and in meantime you can follow her in linkedin because there she keep on explaining her story around in and around the vidasa industry which is very motivating and sometimes very informative also so check out the description below to find out her linkedin id and we'll meet in next 48 hours statistics will change after this video subscribe my channel